what's going on guys welcome back to hidden heights farm vlog and i've been watching a little bit of news this morning and it got me thinking um i've been seeing it online for a few days now and uh kind of want to talk a little bit about this and do a check here on our farm as well so the big topic right now i'm seeing on the news is pets getting sick or killed by blue green algae and uh, what that is if you guys aren't aware of that uh, if you guys got ponds or creeks or lakes or river systems or anything around your property, your house, whatever, your farm, um, it's a bacteria. It's not really an algae. It's a bacteria that produces high amounts of toxins that is very deadly and very dangerous to humans, pets, all kinds of animals. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of people are aware of it, but I don't know... If a lot of people has actually seen it and experienced it and we have two very small ponds here on our farm and we're gonna go take a little walk here in a minute and go check out both those ponds but first uh, I'm gonna put up some pictures here I'm gonna show you first right here this is what blue green algae looks like in a lake and you know this doesn't just affect animals like I said it affects humans as well so a lot of people in the summertime love boating uh, skiing, tubing, whatever on the lake, and uh, you guys need to be very aware because uh, here we live on the Grand uh, Grand River here in Northeast Oklahoma. We got Grand Lake and then Lake Hudson, and in the past few years, the blue green algae has really taken off and bloomed. And when they bloom, that's when they produce their toxins, and you can get the toxins in your body by inhaling water droplets or swallowing the water with the toxins in it and the bacteria is not actually bad until it starts blooming but it looks like it's just paint smeared into the water you know it's actually really pretty color but it's pretty deadly and we've had people here in our area die from it have animals die from it get sick and the way it works is if say an animal goes to a pond and swims in it um, especially dogs you know dogs like chasing sticks and balls or whatever and they're always got their mouth open in the pond or getting a drink of water from the pond and a lot of times that is how they ingest this toxin uh, you know dogs don't know any better so it's just if you see it keep your dogs away from it but uh, we're gonna go walk over to our bigger pond and see a lot of times like right now we're in the peak of uh, summertime a lot of times it's already dried up and don't have a lot of water in it but the way that the algae works is if a pond or a cove in a lake or something is stagnant for a long period of time, meaning that it doesn't have a lot of running water going through it, this is where the algae or the bacteria, the blue-green algae, likes to collect and do its bloom thing. And we're in the peak of summertime. The, the high temperatures, really, it really thrives in high temperatures. So we're going to go take a walk over to our Spanish goat pasture and just check out that pond see if there's any water in it and just to see if there's any signs of the blue green algae. All right guys, so we're out here with our uh, livestock guardian dog at the pond. We've got a few goats out here. Most of them staying over here in the shade because it is prime peak season of summer here in Oklahoma, which is super humid and hot. But uh, so we got the goats here in this pasture and of course we got the livestock guardian dog that stays in there full time and protects them. And uh, of course they get super hot. I'm sure you can hear her panning. Uh, it's, a, it's a hard job keeping up with these goats all day long. You know, she's covered in fur, she's super hot. So of course she's gonna wanna get in this water here and there. I don't notice her getting in there a lot, but a lot of other dogs do. But let's take a look at this pond. As you guys can see, this pond isn't all the way full, but one thing about it is it's pretty clear and I don't see any algae on it. You can kind of see the bottom. We got a lot of type of grass and I don't know what what that is but it always seems to grow in these ponds so this is a clean pond you could say it does not have any signs of the blue green algae of course there she goes it's gonna go cool off but this is what I'm talking about guys you know your dog if you got if you got the ponds and all this around your dogs are going to either drink out of it or get in it to cool off and then you got your livestock in this case we raise goats and any animal that drinks this water here if it does have the algae in it with the blooms they're going to get infected and the toxins are going to uh probably poison their liver so you know 
we keep fresh water out for our goats 24 7 so they do not have to use this pond uh, we are blessed if this pond was infected with the blue green algae we would have to fence it off because we can't risk any of our animals getting the toxins in their system and getting killed so or even getting sick and of course that baby he decided he wants some milk too <laughs> All right, guys, so if you guys know that you have a pond that has the blue-green algae and you have no way of keeping your livestock off of it, some of the signs to know if your uh, livestock, your goats, or your dogs has been introduced to this green-blue algae or the bacteria is uh, they start vomiting, they get diarrhea, they don't eat, they kind of act depressed and just lay around. You can tell they don't feel good. That's just some of the signs to see. And if you have dogs and you know that they've been in that water and it's, and it's got the algae or whatever so if you guys have a livestock guardian dogs or any kind of dogs for that nature or any kind of livestock and you have ponds that might have the blue green algae or any kind of watering system that might have the blue green algae in it and your animals are acting sick with some of the symptoms I just explained uh, you need to uh, seek veterinary attention immediately for your livestock or your animals uh, this is very serious and I don't know if there's anything you can do without seeking medical attention to save that animal uh, I'm sure it's case by case. Some animals are going to eat more or drink more of the algae than others. But if you guys watch the news, I'm sure you've seen it. Uh, animals have been dying left and right, especially dogs. So just something that I want to bring aware to all you guys. I know most of the people are aware of the blue green algae. And like I said, we do water our animals 24 seven with fresh water from our water system that is filtered and such but you still have to stay on top of that and if you guys have been following my channel uh, I think I posted a video a couple days ago that showed us cleaning out the water pill that we uh, have our water system in for these Spanish goats because it was getting kind of dirty from the algae because the way the algae works is you know it kind of has stagnant water or whatever that's not moving and photosynthesis which is from the sun uh, the algae starts blooming and then it releases its toxins so i'm walking up here to our little watering system that we have in this pasture and it works great it provides fresh clear water all the time although it is in the sun a lot of times we regularly clean it out so it's not that big a deal but here it is we got the water valve on there once it gets a little low it fills back up and it's actually it stays pretty cool so this is how we provide our goats with fresh water at all times and in our other goat pens we just have regular water tanks that we fill up when they get low and clean them out so let's walk over to our other goat pen uh, this is going to be our Kiko goats and they have a really small pond as well and hopefully they don't have the algae I think a lot of this pond is in the shade which will kind of help with the photosynthesis problem of causing the blue green algae uh, mainly like I said it's the stagnant water that's out in the Sun all day and that's extreme heat it just the blue green algae bacteria thrives in that kind of situation so let's go look up look at this pond and see what we can find all right guys so we're out here at the uh, Kiko's pasture with the little pond and it's pretty much almost dry uh, all I see is pretty much leaves and mud at the bottom and there is some green tint to it but that's just moss nothing to be worried about uh, probably in a few days it'll be totally dry so they're probably not even drinking out of it because it's not real clear but like I said we do provide them 24 7 fresh water fresh clear water so this pond is just you know like a reserve that we have a lot of frogs in it right now but it's pretty much almost dried up it does stay wet usually through the winter time which you don't have to worry about the blue green algae in the winter of course but so I got this little buck this little Kiko bucks chasing around one of these nannies he's a little bit young so he won't give up and she's not standing for him just yet so pretty interesting to watch he'll just keep on all day long even though it's super hot today he don't care maybe she'll wear down and finally just let him do his deed but all right so now that I've kind of showed you what this blue green algae looks like and kind of what to look for 
Uh, hopefully you guys that weren't aware of what it looks like will recognize it if you have pets. You know, a lot of people like that live in the city, say you go down to your local park or whatever, a lot of people like to get out and go walk their dogs or whatever, go let their kids play around the city park or whatever, uh, feed the ducks. You know, you don't want to have any interaction with any type of water that has the blue-green algae. Uh, just breathing it in, water droplets can make you very, very sick. You know, you get it in your lungs, you get it in, their, in your system, in your blood, it's not good. And if you guys do, you know, Hopefully if you watch this video and then if you're not aware that it makes you aware of the problems, you know, because it can make you very sick if you or anyone you know ever like falls in water or you're tubing or boating and you get into a water system that has that blue green algae, you know, if that day or the next few days you become sick, it's serious. Take, you know, take precautions, get to a physician or a doctor, hospital, whatever, get checked out and don't let it get any worse. Um, so with that being said is a lot of the problems of this blue green algae is you know you'll see it in rivers lakes ponds whatever fertilizer uh phosphorus nitrogen that is two big things where say a city uh constantly mows a park and they're constantly maintaining the grass they're fertilizing it on a weekly monthly basis or whatever uh adding phosphorus or nitrogen whatever the fertilizer may be and that fertilizer is going to end up in a water system somewhere anything that's on land is eventually going to end up in a water system and that is where the blue green algae thrives is the nitrogen and phosphorus you know really feeds it it's a nutrient base for the blue green algae and then with the heat and the temperature it just thrives in it so if you guys uh you know you know what to look for so just keep an open mind you never know you know, this stuff can, it, they say it can bloom like overnight. So I could come back out here tomorrow. I don't think this is a problem because it's mostly just mud. But I could come back out here tomorrow and I could see all those bright blue and green colors. And if I did, that would probably mean that the toxins are here. Uh, they bloom, I guess, overnight is what they say. But if you guys are more interested, you can do your research. Uh, just Google the blue-green algae toxins or blue-green algae, whatever. And there's all kinds of stuff online. And I know... A lot of people that watch my channel here on YouTube are pet owners or livestock owners. So I just wanted to kind of bring it to your guys' attention to be aware. Uh, I don't want anyone uh, to lose or have livestock get sick because of the blue-green algae. You know, a lot of people's not aware of it and a lot of people are, but just wanted to put it out there to share it with you guys. Okay, so I know I've probably repeated myself several times in this video, but I just want to make everybody aware, like I said before, I know, I see you, Daisy. Daisy's a big camera hog. She always wants attention when we're out here. She's a good girl. And that's part of the reason we're making this video is to bring this awareness to a lot of pet and livestock owners, guys. Uh, I know several people that has lost cattle, goats, and dogs to this, and as well as, <clears throat> you know, kids and stuff that has gotten sick from uh, boating and tubing and this stuff. Just a few years ago, one of our biggest lakes in this area had a huge huge outbreak and it sent several people to the hospital so with that being said guys uh i appreciate everyone watching this video i did it more for just kind of an informational update i know probably everybody that's watching this has probably seen it on the news if you watch the news a lot of people don't watch the news uh you know just i just uh seen that this morning and i thought huh that'd be a good little video topic so hopefully it's not too boring hopefully uh, it's a little bit informational. I know I'm by no means a scientist or a subject matter expert at any of this But it was just a little uh, idea that came to mind this morning. I wanted to throw together I know I got a lot of people that watch our channel and if it just Brings awareness to one person that can avoid their dog from getting in to <clears throat> the blue green algae uh, water whatever it is water pond uh, river a lot of people take their pets to lakes and stuff some people don't swim but their pets might bell off into that water well now you know what to look for you know if, if your pet is with you think twice about it you know at least check out your area and your surroundings uh in these summertime temperatures like i said the photosynthesis takes off and the blue green algae thrives in it and of course it's really pretty so don't let it fool you but uh if i know a lot of people 
I know someone out there that watches this is going to come into some kind of water system that has this blue green algae whether it be their pond on their farm or ranch whether it be the creek that runs through their property uh, a lake in their area whatever um, if you can at least try to fence off put some cattle panels around that pond do whatever you got to do to keep your livestock out of it um, I've heard of it wiping out several herds of cattle uh, making them super sick, uh, especially dairy cattle. If your dairy ca cattle get it, I don't know if you could drink the milk or even sell the milk from your uh, dairy cows if your cows are, you know, introduced to something like this. So this is something you guys need to check out. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to quit rambling on about it. You, surely you know by now, if you didn't know already and you watched this video, uh, like I said, check out some of those photos and little video clips I'll try to put up in this video as well. And hopefully somebody learned something from this video. And I thank you guys for watching. For watching. If you're not subscribed, I ask you guys please subscribe to our channel. Check out our other videos. And we'll see you next time, guys.